There's no doubt that NCIS has been a super important part of our lives. We basically grew up watching the show. But as all good things do, the time for some of our favorite characters on the show might be coming to an end. And while we're sad, we know that they're off to bigger and better adventures. Before we give any more away, let's break it down together. To begin with, it seems like it's time to say goodbye to one more. There's no doubt that NCIS is now going through some major changes, not just in the storyline, but in its personnel as well. And it's about time, don't you think? During season 19, the hit CBS drama said goodbye to its leading man, Mark Harmon, even though Harmon remains an executive producer off screen. Also, viewers have been concerned about the fate of Wilmer Valderrama's character, Nick Torres. Add another name to the list now, for a little birdie told us that NCIS director Leon Vance, played so well by Rocky Carroll, is also on his way out. Now, this leaves us with several questions, to say the least. Is it true that director Vance is leaving in CIS? What is Rocky Carroll's role on the show going to be? And why are fans concerned? Let's find out together. NCIS viewers became concerned about Vance after the episode Guardian, in which the NCIS director was the victim of a home invasion. Of course, fans were worried that Vance would be hurt during the home invasion or killed off in whatever happened next as Agent Alden Parker and the team went to investigate. After all, in season 15, Vance was tortured, and in season 10, his wife Jackie was shot and killed. So, who knew what would go down? But we have good news for all. Guardian revealed Vance is still alive, well, and in command of NCIS, with Parker and his team doing their best to protect their boss and friend. In fact, neither CBS nor Rocky Carroll officially announced his departure from the series. Given Carroll's long tenure on the show, that's almost certainly the type of news that would be announced ahead of time. So, for the time being, Vance is staying. We can now take a long, collective breath. Now, it's about time we talk about Rocky Carroll. First off, did you know he's been a cast member of NCIS since 2008? That's almost 14 years ago. Rocky Carroll first appeared on NCIS in the Season 5 episode Internal Affairs, which aired, you guessed it, 14 years ago. In Season 5, he was a recurring cast member before being promoted to the main cast in Season 6. He was then reunited with Mark Harmon for the role. They previously co-starred in another CBS hit, the medical drama Chicago Hope. Harmon portrayed a rough-hewn orthopedic surgeon, Jack McNeil, while Carol portrayed a stern ER doctor, Keith Wilkes. Both appeared on Chicago Hope in its third season and remained for the duration of the show. In fact, Carol also played veteran CIA agent Carl Reese in CBS's spy thriller The Agency from 2001 to 2003, making him an obvious choice to play director Vance in NCIS. He has directed more than a dozen episodes of NCIS and the Magnum P.I. episode May the Best One Win, in addition to his work in front of the camera. There's no doubt he's a very talented actor and director who's well-known and well-liked by CBS viewers. He also distinguished Vance from the many bosses who issue orders on procedurals like NCIS. With that in mind, there's no reason for NCIS to fire Vance until Carol decides he no longer wants to play the character. Hopefully not for long, because Vance is the best boss NCIS could ask for. Wouldn't you agree? But there's another thing that has us worried. Here's the crux of that story. There was a lot of great stuff in NCIS Episode 5 season 20, but there was one thing in particular that has us wondering about Timothy McGee's future for a long time. To be more specific, we're discussing his job and whether he could someday become the director of NCIS, taking over for none other than Leon Vance. We don't know how we feel about that yet. When Rocky Carroll's character went overseas for a conference and Parker accompanied him as protection, McGee found himself in a peculiar position. While he didn't like it at first, he gradually came to appreciate it. Why wouldn't he? He's a pretty smart, sensible guy, so it's natural for him to adjust to not being out in the field. In the end, Vance will return to his director position, which means McGee will return to his old position, at least for the time being. The big question is, will he find his way back to this location someday? We really believe he will. This could be part of McGee's endgame, and it'd be a well-deserved promotion. This is a guy who's been with NCIS since the beginning, and is the only field agent who can say that. He's intelligent and capable, and would uphold the legacy of everyone he's worked with. At the very least, we recommend you keep this in the back of your mind, regardless of the future, and only time will tell. Now, while we're on the topic of NCIS and our favorite characters leaving, here's what we have on one returning. Yep, you heard us right. From 2003 to 2018, Pauly Perret starred as Abby Shudo on NCIS, and of course, she was a fan favorite. The actress was an integral part of the show, and fans were devastated when she left. Her former co-star Brian Dietzen recently opened up about the possibility of her 
return in a recent interview after being asked about the swirling rumors she would return in some capacity, which were fueled further after he shared a photo with her on Twitter. When he spoke to Looper, he stated he hadn't heard anything of the sort. But here's the thing that has gotten us excited. He further said that her character is mentioned in the new script he was reading. It wasn't necessarily the woman herself, it was merely her character. But that's what makes the show so appealing. They can mention past characters who are no longer on the show and refer to them in the same way that they would a family member who no longer lives in the same house. He said, and we quote, You still talk about people, they're still in your heart. I love that there's potential for that, but I haven't heard anything directly about her returning. Let's learn a bit more about this. Polly herself has spoken out about a potential return to the show, revealing that she has no plans to do so. Following her departure, Polly chose not to look for other television work, but she returned to the screen to play the lead in the NBC sitcom Broke. But the show was canceled after only one season, and the actress announced her retirement from acting in 2020. We know how many of you were devastated after hearing this news, but Polly has genuine reasons. The beloved actress has been through a lot in recent years, and she recently took to Twitter to share some heartbreaking news with fans. She revealed in a lengthy post that she had a stroke last year, among other traumatic events. She mentioned how she had had a massive stroke a year ago. Before that, she had lost so many loved ones, including her father and then cousin Wayne. But despite this traumatic life she's been given thus far, she's still a survivor, and she's still thankful. The actress posted a video of herself with the caption, Oh my god, it's September 2nd. It's the first anniversary since I had a stroke, and I'm still here. Of course, fans were quick to send their love to her, and we're sending you virtual hugs, Polly. Let's wrap up this conversation with something that has us a tad bit concerned about the future of NCIS. Did you know NCIS's future on CBS may be in jeopardy following its premiere? That's right. September saw the action-packed drama's lowest viewing figures in its history. The long-running drama has always been a major player on the CBS network, with millions of viewers tuning in each week across the country. And yet, future seasons of NCIS may be in for a big haul after the premiere of the series' 20th season drew the lowest ratings to date. The first episode of Family Matter drew only 5.82 million viewers. What's more, the show's same-day viewers were down 31% from last year, making it the lowest audience in NCIS history. NCIS's previous season averaged between 7 and 8 million viewers, with the most popular seasons attracting up to 20 million viewers. But the ratings for the first full season following the departure of team leader Leroy Gibbs, which was played by Mark Harmon, have suffered quite a lot. And while we understand that, we urge the fans to go ahead and support the show that has accompanied them for so long. That's a wrap. Let us know in the comments what you think of Rocky Carroll exiting in Season 20. Do you think McGee could one day replace Vance? Hit like and click that subscribe button and we'll be back with another video. Bye.